What's going on everyone? So today's video, I'm actually doing a little bit of an experiment. So you see in my videos, I use swim baits a lot of the time. The DOA cow is my favorite one, but I know a lot of people that swear by these lures right here, these gulp shrimp. I'm gonna give them a shot today. I'm gonna see if I can catch some trout and redfish using these lures. So right now it's pretty low tide. So we're out on this grass flat, gonna see if we can pick up a couple trout and the tide's coming up. And once the tide gets a little bit higher, we're gonna go over to these oyster bars over here, see if we can pick up some redfish over there. Got a one eighth ounce jig head right here. And on there I got about three foot section of 20 pound leader. And I'm just gonna be rigging these gulp shrimp. Oh, they just feel so weird. I'm just gonna be rigging them like I would any, any kind of jig or swim bait, just right through the front like that, to the middle and right out like that. And all we're gonna be doing is bouncing these off the bottom, just imitating a little shrimp, bouncing through the grass and then up here by these oysters. And hopefully we can get some fish without these getting torn up by pinfish or puffer fish. And see what happens. Dude, why is it so hot in January? I know. It's like- This would be beautiful weather for the summer, but not for January. It's like high 70s right now. I'm pretty sure it's low 80s. Low 80s? That's unreal. I'm already getting I'm already getting bit by pinfish on the first first cast. Got this grass flat out here and it's about two and a half, three foot deep right now. And it's pretty low tide. And we're just waiting for the water to rise up a little bit to go fish some oyster bars over by this island over here that there's been a lot of redfish at lately. But there's been a lot of trout out here too, so good sized ones. Let's see if we can pick a couple of these up getting absolutely wrecked by pins. My tail's like pretty much gone. I'm gonna keep working it though, still got some, some movement to it. All right, I'm starting to brainstorm some backup plan video ideas right now. While we're out here, like at this spot, I'll catch some pinfish and what we'll do, huh? Yep, and go up to the oyster bar and do a pinfish versus either gulp or if I give up on gulp like my normal lure challenge kind of thing so I could still fish this up there it's just also get some pinfish because I want to I got my biggest redfish ever on a live pinfish see what happens there I'm gonna go ahead and try and catch pinfish I'm gonna set up a sabiki on the other one just tied on a little sabiki right here I don't know why I went southern right there but we're gonna see if we can catch some pinfish right quick to do a little experiment up by the oyster bar. Boop. With how many bites on the gulp I was getting from pinfish, this shouldn't be too hard. There's one. Woo. One bait. I wanna try something. I'm gonna try putting a small piece of gulp on some of these hooks. The one that got torn up by the pinfish before. Put them right on the hooks of the spiky. Yep. Got some pieces of gulp on there. Yeah, it is. See how many I can load up on. No, I wasn't here for that. There we go. Woo! It's a good size one. Okay, now it's fast and furious. Another perfect size one. They're all coming on that bottom one, right off the grass. Yep. Oh, this one feels like a tank. It might be two. Oh, it is two. Look at that. I was like, this one feels like a tank or it's two. Another one. Hey, no one can say I didn't catch anything today. True. All right. Cut bait for reds is the closest thing I can do to a guaranteed fish. So we have 
struck out on pretty much everything we've tried to do today. So in order to try and save a day, I'm gonna see if I can get some redfish on cut bait here in my my go-to spot right here. That's all I got. It's a piece of pinfish right here that I cut the top fins off, cut the head and tail off. A little split shot right above it. I'm gonna be casting into this little slot right here. Just let it sit on the bottom. Redfish will hopefully pick it up and just make sure you have tight drag and good leader. I think I got a 25 pound leader on there so that way you can just beast them out of there once they eat. Well, we're at fishies. You guys just not existent today? Oh. Yep. Little guy. That's not that little. Right as I was grabbing a, a handful of sun chips, this guy ate it. Okay, that didn't take too long. I was in there for like five minutes. Stereotypical 18 to 20 inch redfish I always catch here. It's got really blue tail on him though. That's cool. Come here. You you just saved this day. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Stop. Stop. There we go. It's a nice little redfish right there. Get the hook out of him. Yeah. Solid little fish right there. You can see the blue on his tail really good. It's really vibrant on this guy. Nice. Let's get a measurement on him. I'm going 18. So tail right there. It's like 19 and a half, 20, right around there. Solid little fish. Slot, whoop. I was gonna say that's a nice little slot fish and that was textbook graceful release right there. But hey, let's get another bait, get back in there. There we go, just a piece of uh, pinfish right there. Okay, right in the middle. All I'm using is my Pen Battle 4000 St. Croix Mojo Inshore Medium Power Rod 7.6. And I got 20 pound braid on there. I'm using 25 pound leader and have it pretty much, I wouldn't say locked down, but very tight right now. Because you want to be able to just pull them out of there without giving them a chance to wrap you up and break you off. Because you could get some of these bigger fish, like upper 20s, 30s. You never know. Got one. Oh, I came off. That was quick, though. All right, that was very quick. That's a good sign. I really think it's like, once you get like a couple baits in there and the scent starts going, then they, yeah. That's why the first one always takes a while and then afterwards they're like, oh, we smelled something was here. There we go. Here we go. That's a good one. Dude, he took off at first. That's a decent one. Maybe a little bit better. He's probably low 20s. A little bit better than the first one we got. Dude, cup bait's coming in clutch to save the day, but we are getting wrecked by no seams over here. Come on, dude. There you go. Yeah, that's a solid one. Come on. Yeah, a little bit better than the first one we got. Get the hook out of them right quick. There we go. Yeah, that's up. Got him. Yeah, that's a nice little fish right there. Probably low 20s. Just eating the cut bait right off the bottom in the mangroves. It's the closest thing I can do to a guaranteed fish is using the cut bait in the mangroves. So on these slow days like this where you can't get them to do anything else for you, 
you can always count on this to pull out a couple fish, so we'll get the release on them right quick. <laughs> Dude, I'm the king of graceful releases today, apparently. Jeez. 